שלום וברכה, good evening. This, um, tonight I wanted to discuss a certain subject that might be uh, complex to deal with, It's like kind of hard to deal with, um, with the question. The answer can overwhelm us as well. Some of uh, the deepest topics, deepest issues that we are dealing with in our life in Avodat Hashem while trying to serve the Creator and to connect ourselves to Him, some of those issues are, are very, very deep and emotional for many of us. It's, um, there is a sentence that is written um, in the Gemara, From my heart to my own mouth, I even have not revealed that secret. You have some things that you're not even discussing it with yourself. And even more so to speak from your mouth out to the ears of others. But there are certain things that you choose even not to deal with those with yourself in front of the mirror. alone at night, certain things that might be very, very painful. So the topic that I wanted to open, probably just a little bit about it, because it's uh, one of those things that it's also hard for me to talk about. Those are painful and uh, hard things that emotionally makes our life difficult. And, um, but I said to myself, Um, why not to try and to open and I'm counting on your honesty and truthfulness and goodwill for you maybe to take it one step ahead and to succeed and even in places that uh, I haven't uh, accomplished complete success yet why not I'll be happy to know that you're rising and shining and to greater places than mine for sure so We all experiencing very hard hours in life. Everyone on earth can admit that he experienced times that the suffer, that the pain, that the feelings of loss, that the feelings of, of, of being so worried and so lost and confused, afraid, scared, overwhelmed us, overwhelmed us, took us to a place of, of despair, to a place of horrible feelings of loneliness, of, 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 of grief, of feelings of, of, of confusions with no end, of despair. And the question that I wanted to ask, just like to throw to the air, to the open space is, Who said that life is really so hard as we think it is from our self-experience? Maybe it's our will that is not being answered mean that maybe it's the fact that we're not satisfied from our lives that makes our life so miserable, so painful. For an example, if now someone comes to you and tell you, listen, I want you to take that huge pile of stones and to carry them from point A to point B. And that's it. That's your mission for today. You're going to look at that pile and you're going to feel so like... Um, You, won't, you will not want to, 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 to do that. You will feel like rejected even from the idea. Like, why do I need to suffer so badly? Why do I need to deal with that pile of stones? Why like, can someone else do that? But if someone would come to you and tell you, listen, my dear friend, if you're going to carry that pile of stone, you're going to get $1,000 on every stone. And as many as you're going to carry... To the other side from point A to point B on every single one you're gonna get $1,000 for sure you're gonna start right and if he tells you but listen 
It's not the end. Not only that on every single one of those stones you're going to get $1,000. Also, if you're going to finish carrying all the pile from point A to point B, you're going to get a bonus of another 50 grand. So then, there is no doubt that no matter how much time it will take you, you're going to finish the work. You're just going to go and do it one stone after the other, and every one you're going to count, and you're going to count diamonds. You're going to, it's for you going to be so precious. It's like it's amazing, like such a job offering, like it's the best thing in the world. What made that crazy radical change between those two stories? Your will. In the first situation, it was a nightmare. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, why do I need to sweat? Why do I need to filth my hand? Why do I need to break my back? But for $50,000, for $100,000, for a million dollars, like, oh, for sure I'm going to do that. I'm like, I'm going to carry them for the next couple of years. I don't mind. Like, I'm going to make a fortune. Like, I'm, I'm going to work forever. It's like, it's the answer to my problem. It's a, so the fact is that what that triggered your sadness, your depression, your feeling of, of, of despair, was your lack of will to, to do the job. Now, in life, we are forced to serve um, under a spiritual and hidden supervision of the kingship of heaven. And we believe in that. We believe that there is a creator. And we believe that he is running the world. And we believe that he moves all the things from the right to the left, from the left to the right. That he uplifts and that he brings down. That he is building and that he is destroying. We believe that he is the source of power and control all the powers that exist in the world. His angels are working for him. And all the movements that are taking place in this world are the reflection of his godly will and heavenly intention. And we just know that in our hearts now where the problem begins if you would know that the father of mercy loves you so much and wants to help you so much and set a path in life for you to achieve the completion of, of, of the correction of, of for your soul to bring you to the most beautiful 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 place uh, in in heavens after 120 years we would run like that it's written in the Zohar Kadosh, there is a book that is called the Zohar Kadosh, and the Zohar is saying, a book that's been written by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, if the nation of Israel would know how great the love of Hashem is for them, they would chase him like lions. That's what they would do. Lion is an animal that does not know the meaning of the word fear. And the lion himself is chasing his enemies with no fear and following them and chasing and completing his job and fulfilling his mission with no fear in his eyes. And we, if we would just understand and realize how much the Creator really loves us, we would just do the best that we can to follow the Creator and to attach ourselves to Him. And we wouldn't look back to the side in no way in the world. Now, the most beautiful thing in the world is that we must admit, we must admit that we don't have that complete faith in our hearts. We just simply don't have that simple faith in our hearts. We don't realize that everything that happens to us in life is coming for the good. Because if we would think, if we would understand, if we would relate to that point that we are being rewarded on every brick, on every drop of sweat, on every situation that triggers our life, we would just flow and we would just run and we would just understand that everything is for the good and we would run. Now, there is a problem with that as well. What's the problem? 
First of all, you would tell yourself, okay, so I need to strengthen myself with that simple advice of thanking Hashem on the good and on the bad. I need to thank Him on every, in every situation. I need to strengthen myself in faith. I need to convince myself and to remind myself and to clarify that I won't have no doubts anymore that there is no one except for Him and that He is the Father of goodness and Father of good and that He is the source of, of kindness and wonders and miracles and simply you would follow his advice, that's what you would assume, to achieve the, the complete nullification to his divine will. You would try as much as you can to cancel your will to his will, to become like him, that your intention and your will and your desire will be only to keep his will and to follow his will and you would try as much as you can not to be sad and not to be depressed and not to be broken from the situations in life, right? Simple way of thinking. There is a problem with that. I'll tell you what it is. That really the Creator does not want you to suffer. He does not want you to surrender to the system of judgments and trials that runs the world so many times. If you can think to yourself that your Father in Heaven wants you to suffer, wants his children to suffer, you're out of your mind. There the problem begins. That you think to yourself that that is the king. The king is the one that runs the world. The king is the one who leads us toward no matter what goes on in our life. The king wants us sometimes to succeed and sometimes to fail. The king wants us sometimes to fall on our face. The king wants us sometimes to break down and cry. The king wants us sometimes to scream out of sadness and despair. That cannot be the truth about the king. That cannot be the true answer about our Creator. You cannot think to yourself for a moment that the Father in Heaven even though that you might believe that he is the one who controls it all, and he is the one who punishes even, and he is the one who brings down the judgments, you cannot accept and surrender to the fact that that's his will, that he wants me to suffer, that he wants me to go through challenges, that he wants a person to go and, and lose his mind, that he wants people to, 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 to fall to, to horrible depressions to people to go lost, to people to, to lose their, their, their hold in life, to people to find themselves in such horrible despair and such crazy pain that they will think, even God forbid, to lose themselves in their own hands. God forbid. There is no way in the world that you can imagine even that the source of goodness, that the source of kindness, He is the one who brings all that craziness to our life. So now what are you going to start saying? Okay, no, that's the devil, that's the dark side, it's Satan, it's the snake, it's the evil inclination, it's the power of imagination. You're going to call all the names of all kinds, angel of death, all kinds of, of darkness and despair to blame them for the false and to idolize the Creator. No, He's source of good, He's the good, and all the bad is coming from the bad side, from the evil side. Why did you cut the picture now in half because you don't have an answer. You don't have an answer to explain that it's all good, so you divide it to good and bad. Okay, so no, God is good and the devil is bad. No, I'll tell you, that's the biggest nonsense of them all. That's for sure a lie. There is no power that comes out to the world unless the Creator send that power to, to work to achieve his goal and to accomplish his mission. But, even though that he is the one who controls the world completely, still it does not mean that he wants it to take place in that way. But sometimes the Creator is forced to certain situations, even though that he has the powers to change it all. And how are we going to explain that? Simply. Sometimes you can punish your child. You can tell your child, go to your room. And you don't want him to be in the room. You tell him, actually, go think about what you did. And you phrase it in those, those words, go to your room. You want to tell your child, I want you to do something with your life 
So instead, you look at him and you tell him, you're not doing anything with your life. Sometimes the Creator wants to bring us to wake up on a certain point, and therefore He is showing to us the face of darkness. But not because the darkness is His will, or that the face of darkness has certain existence and power to control our lives. It's just that the Creator Himself wants us to understand how horrible it is to be away from Him, and He just wants us to come back to Him. And this is how He runs the world. This is how He makes everything happen in a perfect way. But His will is above all the judgments and all the trials and all the difficulties and all the obstacles. And He does not want you or me to face none of those obstacles and difficulties or challenges. He wants us to fly and to enjoy life and to be happy and satisfied. He wants us to rise and to shine and to bloom. He wants us all to smell well and all to feel well and all to be happy and all only to enjoy life. And that's why He promises us to inherit the world to come. Nachala belim a land with no borders, for everyone to have everything he wants. You want, you want rivers, you'll have millions of rivers. You want houses, you'll have billions of houses. You want the, you want the sea, you're going to have the largest ocean just for yourself. Whatever you want. You want a boat, you're going to have a million boats. What do you want? You want fish, you're going to have billions of fish. What do you need? Whatever you want, you're going to have. Whatever you need, you're going to receive. Whatever you wish for, you're going to have. The Creator is, is so kind and generous. He will feed you with every food you want, with everything will, that will nurture you. He will help you grow and succeed and rise and shine. But until that day, there are certain things you need to go through. And those things are important for your completion, for my completion, for us to build the vessels to contain the bounty. Because without humility and without dignity, without honesty, without good attributes, without being kind and nice and positive and helpful and, 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 and loving and respectful and modest and, and all the good qualities that installed inside a person, you're not a shape, you're not a vessel to contain the bounty of, of godliness. You're still playing with mud. You're still like walking on the ground like, like an animal. You're just still like desiring grass and, 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 and male de desiring females and females desiring male. And you, and you want food and you want honor and you want your space and you need your place. And like all those like physical lusts and desires are not the vessel to contain the spiritual bounty. The way to contain the spiritual bounty is by nullifying yourself to the divine will that is all good. To understand that Him in His root, in His beginning, in His real self, in who He really is, He is the goodness itself. He is the good and there is nothing else except for Him in the world. Now when that good is not able to hand Himself over to us because that we don't desire His goodness, because we desire, we worship Idols, we're desiring low things. We like we have passions and lusts and like we want physical things. Oh, but you touched my car, no, but you took my seat, but why are you touching my why are you playing with my phone? Like you you're we're pathetic, you know. It's like we're so silly sometimes. We're like we're acting like stupid animals, like we're just like so selfish and, and, and so like Behemoth, like, like cattle, like animals, behemoth. Cattle who, who walks on, on two legs, like we're acting like animals. And not, not even to open and speak about the real vicious and, and cruel villains that are walking on earth that are destroying the world on daily basis, that are abusing and molesting and raping and, and killing and stabbing and lying and like all day long are evil with their mouth, with their thoughts, with their, with their words, with their eyes, with their hands and like filthy people that really needs to, uh, to be corrected. And all of us together, we're all, all human beings, we all came from Adam and Eve. We all came from the soul and Ad of Adam and Eve. We were all inside Adam and Eve. You cannot say, oh no, that evil person, 
that evil person if you will admit it and if you won't admit it is your sibling he came from the same mother her name was Eve he came from the same father his name was Adam like drop your case start start helping your siblings start fixing the world even if you have oh no Amalekites we need to kill oh the like okay do you know who is the Amalek that you want to kill? First of all, check yourself that you're not an Amalek. First of all, check yourself that you're not an Amalek. First of all, check yourself. First of all, look at yourself and see if you're not Haman Rasha. You know Haman Rasha, he was the, the, the prototype of Amalek. Check yourself that you're not like him. First of all, you want to hate the... the, the the evil, okay, who you want to? Check first of all that you're not acting like Pharaoh. Check that you're not acting like Nebuchadnezzar. Check that you're not acting like Bil'am. Check that you're not acting like, like Korach. Check that you're not acting like, like, like the evil people, like the evil ones, like Nimrod. Check yourself. First of all, check yourself, okay? Before and you go and execute people, no, he's evil, no, he's bad, he's mean, he's Amalek, he's Paro, he's Rasha, he's like, okay. First of all, look at yourself and check yourself that all those bad negative reflections that you're recognizing so easily in other people's faces are not just the reflection of your own character. And if it's hard for you to do it on your own, go ask your wife, she's going to embarrass you, she's going to help you to see your defaults. Go ask your wife, go ask your best friend, go look at the mirror, look at your face, look at your shiny face in the mirror, look at reality, we are all like, unfortunately, like we're pathetic, we, we are weak, we have so many weaknesses, we, are so, we have so many defaults, we need to fix, you think to yourself, you are perfect and everyone else are wrong, no, it's, it's a joke, it's a joke, and it's, and it's not even a funny joke. You want to start fixing the world? Take yourself seriously and start working on yourself. Not to kill people around you, not to destroy people, not to break the spirits of people, not to take out your anger and your cruelty on other people, not to use other people, not to abuse other people. And not like, oh no, I'm not doing that. Okay, but what do you do? Tell us what do you do, what really you know that you're doing. Like at night, what do you do? Are you so humble and nice? In your own house, when you lock the door, are you Prince Charming? Are you so nice and kind? Are you so heavenly and positive? Are you so clean? Are you so modest? Are you so simple? Are you so gentle and wise? No. So go do tshuva. Come back to Hashem. That's our mission. Our mission is to correct ourselves. So going back to the beginning where we started, we have that hard question and here you got a very nice answer. A person should understand, even though the challenges are hard and difficult and you want to nullify yourself to Hashem and to surrender to His will, you need also to put in mind that the Creator wants you to succeed and to grow and to bloom. So even though that you want to thank Him for all the troubles, for all the difficulties, and you want to take those lessons, and you want to fix yourself and to correct yourself, in the same time you need to understand that He does not want you to go through that difficult path of wilderness, of, of challenges and difficulties. The Creator wants you to succeed and to be happy. So please, connect yourself to Him and have a simple conversation with Him. Talk to him, an honest conversation from the heart, a conversation that will express your real feelings, admit your mistakes, confess your mistakes and your problems that you do in life, and ask for help. Tell him, please improve my life, help me to improve my character, my behavior, my manner. Let me be a better person, let me be a nicer, a kinder person, a better person in any possible way. And Hashem will help us all together, okay? Be strong, be positive, and keep it up. May the Creator bless us all to rise and shine. By the way, you can always help us and support our project, also on Facebook. Also, please, we have wonderful products on our website in the store, the emuna.com um, website, E-M-U-N-A-H, emuna.com. 
and you can support us, you can buy the products, you can order books and CDs for distribution to help many other people. Like the videos, share the videos with your loved ones. Join us to the learning program that we have for every monthly donor and we can uh, let you in to certain unique classes and teachings that only that group are enjoying from special Sunday night uh, learning and chatting, wonderful conversation on Zoom on a weekly basis, a real beautiful time that we're spending together. And other issues and other projects that we're doing, join us, be part of our work, of our activity. And the Creator will bless us all as one to rise and shine and to distribute the light of His goodness to the world for all the souls to bloom, come back to their source in goodness and in good shape. Amen. Thank you so much. Shumda Bhagavad Gita Tzoti